Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Laurel, and if you're new here, then be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of my July fashion and a couple beauty favorites that I've been loving all throughout the month. These are some of the pieces that I've been loving and continuously wearing throughout the month. But before we dive into the actual video, I wanna give a quick shout out to Dossier Perfume or Dossier Perfume. They were really, really kind enough to email me and let me choose a perfume of my choice so I chose the gourmand white flowers perfume and I'm telling you guys this smells so freaking stunning it smells so mature it has hints of green tea hints of white flowers hence the name gourmand white flowers but gourmand is actually like a very very sweet kind of scent so it has like a slight marshmallow cotton candy like fresh cotton vibe to the scent I absolutely love this this has been my go-to whenever I want to feel a little bit more more fancy whenever I'm going out at night or if I'm hanging out with my boyfriend or if I'm going to a nice dinner. This is the perfume that I have been wearing. I just feel like it smells very, very inviting. It is sweet with hints of vanilla and it's a little musky. It's been one of my go-to fragrances of this entire month and I'm so, so, so thankful for Dossier for um, reaching out to me and allowing me to choose because I'm very, very picky with my perfume. I usually stick to just the simple kind of vanilla sweet scents. I love anything that is very sweet and sugary like kind of like a candy vibe. But I wanted to go for something a little different because all of my perfumes literally smell like cotton candy. This one has hints of that but it has the florals with it and the muskiness to it so it just again smells so sexy and mature. This was super affordable. I believe this was $29 and the bottle is pretty decent size. It's 1.7 fluid ounce. It's a pretty decent size because the smell actually actually lasts a quite a long time so I only need like a couple spritz and I'm good to go and I've been loving this so this is the gourmand white flowers I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to check it out but they have so many different fragrances there's so many you can choose from so I would definitely recommend reading the description to see what you kind of lean towards more but yeah I'll have this one linked down below thank you again to make sure to check them out and without further ado let's go ahead and get started with my July favorite like I said, I'm gonna start off with beauty because I only have have a couple items to show you guys. The first one is actually a setting spray. This is from the Ulta Beauty. It is a sun protection like SPF 50 matte setting spray. I wouldn't necessarily say this is mattifying because the sunscreen kind of gives it like that slight glow to the face. Hence why I'm kind of shiny but I love this. I love that it has SPF 50 already in the setting spray and the mist is actually really really fine and really nice misty and light and I've been loving just putting this all over my face. I obviously want to protect my face from the sun. The second beauty favorite is actually from No Beauty which is like founded by Vanessa Hudgens and Madison Beer. Super super cool. But this is their resurfacing night serum. I've actually been really really liking this. I put this on my face immediately after I finish washing and drying up my face. I've just been really liking the results. It's been making my face really soft and I don't really notice any more dark spots popping up. I've been using this for actually the whole month and I've been loving it. I use it every single night. It's part of my night skincare routine at this point and I can't go a day without it. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the actual makeup favorites. So I have two from Merit Beauty. If you guys watched my Merit like Beauty 5 minute makeup routine, I used these two products right here. These were actually my favorites out of the products that I was putting on my face in that video. So this is their cream blush. This is in Mood. It's just been my go-to blush. It's just so easy to blend. It is a little dark berry color but I really love Love that color on my tan skin right now so I've been using this like every single day and I've been loving their tinted lip oil this is the one in Maracouche and this is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now it's really peachy it's very natural and it's really moisturizing and it's very tinted which I really really like these two are just my two favorite kind of go-to makeup look if I want to go for a natural no makeup look this is a concealer from Colourpop this is the pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer it's just really lightweight. It's not full coverage. It's like a light to medium full coverage, but it blends really, really nice. And I've been loving it. This has been my favorite mascara this whole entire month. It's the mascara that I have on my lashes right now. 
As you can see, my lashes are very, very voluminized. And yeah, this is the Essence Get Big Lashes in Volume Boost. I got this because I was looking for a waterproof mascara for my trip. And this was like the, the cheapest option in Ulta. I picked it up and I've been actually really, really loving it. It's been holding up the curl for the whole entire day. And I have really straight Asian lashes. So it's really hard for me to find mascaras that I actually work on my lashes. So this one actually surprised me and I've been loving it every single day. Okay, now moving on to the fashion favorites of this month, what you've all been waiting for. So the first ones are tube tops. I never realized how useful and just how easy tube tops are just to throw on any outfit. I have a white one and I have a black one. This black one is actually from Target and then the white one is from Brandy Melville. I've had this for literally years. I have just been loving tube tops. I think they're just so easy. You can just throw them on and put any sort of bottoms you would like. Like, whether that's denim shorts, skirts, or jeans. Okay, the next tops that I want to talk about are halter tops. There's so many different varieties of halter tops. I want to show you just three that I've been loving so far. This one is actually from Amazon. This is the Lauren collab. She's a TikToker and she partnered up with Amazon Marketplace or something like that. I actually saw her wearing the halter top and I immediately had to buy it and I've been loving this. The colors are so stunning. They are bold. They're blue. They have these funky swirls all throughout. This is just like my vibe and I've been loving this top and I can't wait to wear this and bring this to my Aruba vacation because I think the colors are just so pretty for like that tropical vacation vibe. And like I said, halter tops come in so many different ways and styles and varieties. But this top is, I would say this is a halter top. I, I don't really know how to describe this top, but I thrifted this bathing suit top. I absolutely love it. It's giving me like 2000s vibes with like the tie right here. Here. So you just like tie it and it kind of goes like this. The colors are so funky, so summery. It has like that Hawaiian like flower print all throughout, like the hibiscus floral print. I actually picked up a lot of cute tops from the thrift store. I'm gonna be doing a thrift haul sometime this week or next week and I got a lot of good stuff you guys. Like I really hit the jackpot and that's because I haven't thrifted in about three to four weeks so I kind of went crazy and I was just buying everything that like caught my attention caught my eye and this was one of the pieces that I actually got early on this month and I've been loving it so so much. This next top is actually one of the newer tops that I got but I already know I'm gonna freaking love it. This is just another example of a halter top that I wanted to show you um, but this is a black and white again kind of funky printed black and white halter top. This is definitely like 2000s Y2K vibe. I love it so so much. It's just a simple basic white and black top. It can go with anything, honestly, any bottoms, any colored bottoms, skirts, denim shorts. And I like that it's black and white so I can still wear it in the fall and the winter season. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about are dresses and specifically just long flowy dresses. I've been loving them so much. I have quite a lot, honestly. But these two are the ones I actually wore a lot this month. So this one is from H&M. It is just a basic straight fit, super flowy, like midi maxi dress. It's in this yellow mustard color. Color. It's really really wrinkly because I just washed it, but I've been loving this dress like it's just so comfortable and just easy to throw on You can style this up with some heels or some sandals or you can style this down with some sneakers This next dress I actually wore for my vacation in Florida this month and I just love this dress I actually picked this up early in July or like end of June. It is this bright bold red maxi dress. It is so flowy. It is just like the prettiest kind of like vacation style dress. Again, it is like that tube top style. It has this ruching material so I didn't have to wear a bra. I felt really comfortable and it feels really secure and tight and I love it. I love how flowy and comfortable this is. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about are matching skirt sets. So this one is actually another thing that I wore for my Florida trip. If you want to see that video and all the outfits that I wore. I will have that video linked down below, but this is just a white skirt set. I wore this on a sunset boat tour. I thought it was very fitting for the occasion, even though I was like the overdressed person in that boat. But this is just a white 
skirt set. It comes with like this beautiful midi skirt. It has ruching on the side, so it has like a tie. And then it comes with this top. Again, it's like a halter neck kind of top. The ties go around your neck like this, and it's just so freaking pretty. Again, so nice with the tan. It fits me perfectly, and I love like matching sets all the time. I love matching sets in the fall, winter, summer, spring all freaking seasons. And this next set I actually got from Zaffle. They sent it to me early on this month, but I'm obsessed with it. It is a, again, skirt set. It is a midi skirt set. It's black with like daisies all throughout. It's super pretty and just simple and subtle. And then this is the matching top. It is like a bralette style top. It is super cropped and super tiny. But the skirt is really high waisted, so it's just so stunning and I think feel put together. I feel like I tried, but I really didn't. This was just a matching set. Okay, I completely forgot to mention this. The next thing I want to talk about are baby tees. Oh my god, I have been obsessed with baby tees all month long. Whether I am just chilling on the couch at home or if I'm going out with my friends, I am wearing a baby tee. I have three to show you, but I have so, so much more. And I thrifted so much more that I will be showing in that thrift haul as well. So the first one is actually another thing that I'll be mentioning in that video, but I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. This is a baby tee oh my god this was probably my favorite baby tee that i found it is like this bright royal blue color and then it has like a skeleton like rock and roll band in the front i think it's so freaking 2000s super cute this was obviously from the kids section um but it fits me so nice it's nice and snug and i love the color okay this one is actually from h&m and it's just a basic white baby tee and i'm calling this a baby tee because it fits like a baby tee it is like super super tight and slightly cropped but this is actually a size medium and it fits me like what a normal baby tee would fit. I love this because it's just white, it's simple, goes with anything and I've been wearing this one actually a lot when I don't feel like wearing any prints or any slogans on my shirt. I just go for like the basic white one. Then the last baby tee. Okay, now moving on to the bottoms. I want to quickly mention midi skirts. This kind of goes hand in hand with the matching skirts set. I love midi skirts. I think they're just so sexy. I don't know. I really don't know how to describe it. I just love the way it looks on me. I know I am short and I really should lean more towards like shorter skirts, but I love midi skirts. I don't really like to show my legs all that much and I just love the fit of midi skirts, especially if it has a slit. So this one is from H&M. It is this beautiful lime kind of like pistachio green color. I love this because it has like a slit with like lace detailing all throughout the skirt. It's just so stunning and I love the color. I think it's so summery and just fun. And then this next midi skirt was actually supposed to be a matching set and I got it during the Zara summer sale but the top part did not fit me <laughs> at all. So I just kept the skirt and I love the print of this. I'm gonna be wearing this to my Aruba trip because again the colors are just so tropical, so summery and just very island vibes you know. But I really love the midi skirt. I love the fit of this. And the last clothing piece that I want to talk about are Bermuda denim shorts. These two have been, not even kidding you, my go-to shorts since the start of summer. I've been wearing these two shorts like non-stop. This one is kind of like a medium light wash denim Bermuda shorts from H&M. It's really simple. It doesn't have have any like, cuts or, or distressing all throughout of it but it does have some fraying on the bottom of the shorts which I really like. This next one is a light wash denim Bermuda shorts. This one is thrifted but I really like like the white like fading effect of the shorts in this. Again it's really comfortable, really high waisted and just goes with anything. Okay now I want to move on to some accessories that I've been loving this whole month. So the first ones I want to talk about are trucker hats. I freaking, I freaking love trucker hats. Um, I never was into it in the beginning, which is totally okay. I was hating on it because I never even tried it. I never gave it a chance, but once I did, I kind of went a little crazy because now I have like 10 trucker hats. But I want to show you guys the ones that I have. So I have a plain black one that I actually got from Amazon. This was the first one that I ever got because if I was going to try to kind of dive into the trend, I wanted something basic and plain. I have this one that I actually got from Maine. It's just such a beautiful baby pink color and then it has like the little logo from Bar Harbor and I love the trucker hats with the mesh thing in the back you'll notice that I have a lot in that kind of style I just love the fit of it I have a really big head so 
I feel like trucker hats just fit my head shape a little better than baseball caps. Again, another trucker hat. This one is actually from Key West, Florida. Again, with the mesh kind of style, which I really, really like. And I got it because it's nude. It's just like a beigey color. I like would go with anything, to be honest. And this trucker hat, I actually thrifted and I literally fell in love with it because it has L in the front. And it's in this really beautiful baby blue color. It says Lanal Hawaii in the front, but I really just got it because it had an L and I was like, oh my god, that's perfect for me. And then it has the mesh detailing in the back as well. Next thing I want to talk about are canvas tote bags. These have just been so popular all throughout Pinterest and I definitely fell into the trend trap, but I gotta say, you guys, these canvas tote bags have just been such a go-to, such an easy thing to throw on to any outfit that I'm not even mad about it. I'm not even mad that I got into it because I really love it. The first one is actually one that I've just thrifted. It's super cute and small. It even says shop small in the front. It's beige and then the back also has like this cool design that says shop small. This one is actually from Chamberlain Coffee. I decided to get it because she has so many cute tote bags in her website and I was gonna get the cold brew coffee anyways. So I decided to put this in my cart and I love it. I love it because the print is like front and back. It's super colorful but again it's beige. It goes with anything to be honest. And the last one I actually got from Cotton On. This was like two dollars and this one is just really cute. Again it's a beige color with like a fun print. And this one just says take care of the earth. Okay the last accessories that I want to show you before we get into the shoes are jewelry. So I'm wearing a lot of the jewelry that I'll be mentioning. Fun colorful jewelry. So I know the beaded like bracelet and necklace trend has been super popular this whole summer and I think it's super super cute. I just refuse to buy it from like these stores. They're selling it for like $20, $40. Um, so I thrifted some and these bracelets are all thrifted. They were all a dollar each and they're just all just fun colors. I have this green one which has like turtles on it. I have this like teal kind of rock style beaded one and then I have this one. It kind of reminds me of like gummy bear. I don't really know how to describe it and then the last one is like a purple fuchsia rock kind of vibe. I think it's super cute, super inexpensive, and I also got this jewelry as well. It's like a green gemstone. I love it. Again, all one dollar, super on trend, and you can definitely find these at your local thrift store. And I also want to mention these rings that I got. They are all thrifted. So this first one is like this green kind of like star, like a starfish. And then this one is really, really fun. It's like black and white kind of zebra print. And then this one is just like a gold one. I wore it on my pinky because it's so freaking tiny. Also, these earrings are thrifted as well. I got it for $2 and they are like this wooden bright blue colored hoop earrings. I think it's so stunning and I just love finding unique jewelry pieces at the thrift store. You can find so many cute ones and such a good price too. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about are some shoes. I have three to show you guys. The first one being my black Birkenstocks. I call them Birkenstocks because these are obviously the fake Birkenstock kind of style slides. I got this from Forever 21. They were on sale for $5 and I didn't really think I would like it or wear it as much as I did, but oh my god, this has just been my go-to slides. I wear them literally everywhere. Next shoe I want to talk about are these white Vans knockoffs from H&M. Again, these shoes were $5 during their sale. I've been getting so much use out of it. I'm surprised they're still kind of white. They do have a little bit of dirt everywhere, but um, yeah, so, so comfortable, just easy to throw on. I've been wearing this because I think it looks super cute wearing this with like a denim Bermuda shorts with my anklets showing. And then the last pair of shoes I want to talk about are these nude platform sandals. I got this from TJ Maxx. They were like $16.99 and I've been wearing them all throughout the month. They are the most comfortable pair of like high heel style shoes that I own right now. They go with everything. They're beige, they're comfortable, and they're really dirty as well because I've been wearing them everywhere. Love it. I think this looks cute with shorts, with skirts, with dresses. Anything you can think of. This looks super super cute. But yeah guys, that is pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed all of the pieces that I showed you for my July fashion and beauty favorites Let me know down below what your fashion or beauty favorites are for this month I think I'm gonna head out now. Be sure to like share and subscribe. I will see you guys on Thursday Thank you again for watching. Have a good one